Good evening, everybody. How are we doing? I feel naked up here without a guitar. Does anybody have one? So, what's Magic Boy going to do today? Let's give the Xerox boys all the way from Halifax a big round of applause for coming down here. The first annual Savoy Theater Jack Bonaparte Concert Contest in Chug Luggy. And if I was a betting man, I put my money right there. <laughs> Gentlemen, I want you to pretend it was a long, hot week at the office. He worked you guys to death. It's 7 o'clock Friday afternoon or Friday evening, and you can't wait to get home. So you go over to the parking lot and you get into your car. Gentlemen, my car has a steering wheel, guys. <laughs> All right, we're coming home, and the roads are smooth. We're not in Cape Breton. You can actually see the road. We're coming down. We can see it in the stretch. We can see it in the distance. It's our big house. Oh, wait a second, Joe. We're on a right turn. We're going to take a right. We're coming around the corner now. Let's pretend we're, we're really cool. Turn on the twos. Put our hand over the steering wheel, and let's wave to all the hot babes on Spring Garden Road. And the guys, if you're so inclined. Tyler. <laughs> All right, we can see it in the distance now, ladies and gentlemen. We can see it. It's our house. It's big, it's white, and we're coming down to the home stretch now. Gentlemen, we know what's in that refrigerator because Sean worked you guys like dogs. It's tall, it's frosty, it's cold. Jamie, do you know what's in the fridge? Yeah. He's, no, it's not a beer. Sorry. All right, pulling in the driveway right now. We're going to put our cars in park. And gentlemen, we're going to walk into the house. Oh, Jamie. Just whack your head off the windshield, dude. You didn't get out of the car yet. It's okay, though. You gotta get out of the car and then walk into the house. And they know it's sitting there in that refrigerator. It's tall, it's cool, and it's frosty. And we have something for these wonderful gentlemen. At the end of a long week, every man, especially Cape Bretoners, can't wait to get home and have a nice drink of the real thing. Jamie, grab one of those cups, take one for yourself, pass it on down. Pass another one on down. Pass another one on down. A little bit of a splash here. Now let's see. We're going to do this evenly because I don't want anyone to have an advantage over the next guy. <laughs> Just about do it, I think. A little bit for Magic Boy. Jamie, have a look inside. What do you see? Oh, you don't see the little rat in there? It's the Coca-Cola rat. Take it, pass it on down. Tyler, anything inside there, dude? Nothing? No, no, no. <laughs> leave, the bowl, leave the jokes to Magic Boy, would you? Keep coming. Okay, you know, have a look at that. Now, gentlemen, the way this is going to work is very, very simple. In a moment, I'm going to say go on the count of three. You guys are going to chug along the pop as quickly as you can. Put the cup down on the stage. Smush it with your foot. Put your hands up in the air. You're going to yell, yes! And the winner will be crowned. So, Jamie, if you win, what are you going to yell? Sharon, is that about right? That's usually how it goes. Yes. Jamie, if you win, she's watching. What are you going to shout? Yes. Okay, that's better. Connor, if you win, you're going to shout. Yeah. Chad, you're going to shout. Ian, you're going to shout. In a moment, we're going to chug. But the winner is going to get a cool prize. This can. Courtesy of Tiffany's of New York and Coca-Cola Canada. Right now, it's worth absolutely nothing. With a little magic. We'll make it priceless. Ladies and gentlemen, the shrinking Coke can of death. One, two, <laughs> shades of jobs, huh? It's all you need. Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready to see those guys chug? Are you guys ready to chug? On the count of three, we're going to do this. Let's get a clap going, everyone. We're going to get them going now. Here we go. Not yet. One, two, shake a leg. Go, 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 go. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Oh, it was a photo finish, people. 
A photo finish. Uh, we're going to have to get out the clapometer to see who the winner was. Ladies and gentlemen, by a show of applause, how many think contestant number one was the winner? Oh, Jamie, they love you, man. You better go back to Newfoundland. Jamie will be signing autographs after the show. Contestant number two, Tyler. Whoa, Tyler, they love you, man. Contestant number three. Yeah, Chad, they don't like to do it. Uh oh. And Ian, number four. Oh, it was pretty close. All right. Okay, by show of applause, honestly, how many think they're all winners, guys? Come on, huh? All right, gentlemen, you guys are awesome. Go and have a seat. But I have some bad news for you as soon as you get a round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Well, gentlemen, I have some bad news. You guys might have gotten this email that was circulated a couple of years ago about how wonderful soft drinks can be on the tummy. I'll give you a couple of them that you may not remember. Did you know that if you took some Coke, poured it into a bowl, put a piece of meat in there like a steak or a hamburger, two days after, that steak will be gone. <sighs> Did you also know that you could clean your toilet bowl with Coca-Cola? Anybody here from Ontario visiting? You guys, okay, this is perfect then. Uh, did you know that the, the toilet seat, speaking of toilets, was actually invented in Toronto? And like every other invention that gets invented in central Canada, we find out about it like six or seven months later, where someone from Glace Bay thought it would work a lot better if you cut a hole in it. So thank you to that guy for cutting a hole in my toilet seat. I appreciate it. And the guy coming behind, he does too. <laughs> and my personal favorite all-time Coca-Cola statistic. If you took every Coke drinker in the whole world, had them hold hands side by side, not only would they wrap around the globe twice, but 70% of them would drown. And you can ask your Jeopardy fan friends to explain that one to you if you missed it. Let's pretend none of this ever took place. Let's pretend your tummies didn't have to take any of this carnage. I hope there are no Coke reps in there. Let's pretend none of this ever happened, ladies and gentlemen. Let's pretend they never had to drink the pop. Let's pretend this little can here was never, ever crushed. Check it out. You can almost hear and see the size. Resurrecting themselves. I heard, oh my God, and I heard, holy shit, no. There are children here, sir. Please. I heard it, I heard it again, she's like, she's got her prayer beads in her hands. Holy Mary, Mother of God. Um, let's pretend the lid was never popped open. I know she said, oh, get out of here. Do 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 I'm coming to get you. <laughs> Let's pretend the lid was never popped open, people. Check this out. Magic with my lips. And ladies, no. Here we go. No, it wasn't gross for me. A resealed pop can. Sir, would you mind poking your finger on that? Is that resealed? Could you check? Seems to be pretty resealed, huh? And finally, ladies and gentlemen, let's pretend none of this ever took place. Let's pretend the can was never empty. Proving what I've known for a very long time. That if you reach deep down inside of your heart and soul and have a little bit of faith, you can find magic in the strangest of places, even on the inside. The anticipation is killer, isn't it? <laughs> Even on the inside of a pocket. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen.